where does it start with you and Dale Earnhardt? 1980, Atlanta. I went to oh, Atlanta yeah. and I tested with Penske. I just ran all these ASA races, and I was doing good in the short track stuff. And Penske said, I want to give this kid a, a try, you know. So they put this car together with a guy named Tex Powell and myself and Don Miller. We went down to Atlanta, and we tested, tested, tested. I drove IROC cars, me and Rick Mears, and we tested the crap out of IROC cars to kind of get my feet underneath, get my sea legs, you know. So then we put me in that, that 1980 uh, Caprice, and I ran my butt off all day long in that 500, and I finished second, and Dale won the race. Uh, I'm looking at that car behind your head. It's a blue and yellow number two, and that's the car that he won with, and I finished second behind him in. And that's where we first met. And, and he went to me and said, holy smokes, dude, where'd you come from? You know, And I said, I've been in the Midwest, man. I said, where'd you come from? <laughs> you know? Back in Atlanta, we have two and a half laps remaining in the Atlanta 500. And number two, Dale Earnhardt, running very well, has built up a sizable lead. He's the overall NASCAR point leader. Coming into this, the fifth stop on the Grand National Circuit. And an interesting story right there. Car number 16, Rusty Wallace, his first ever Grand National start. Currently in second place, Rusty Wallace from Arnold, Missouri. Roger Penske in the red jacket there. It's a Roger Penske entered car that Rusty Wallace is driving in there. You see Rusty going down the front stretch there. Car number 16 and the relationship shot all the way around the racetrack till we find Dale Earnhardt, the leader. Almost half the racetrack in hand over Rusty Wallace. Earnhardt leading, Wallace second, and there's Bobby Allison who had the lead earlier. He has been slowing down steadily, but still in third position at the moment. And the white flag, one lap to go for Dale Earnhardt, seeking his first win of the season. But still, he was the point leader coming in, and Earnhardt right now just about two-thirds of a lap away from picking up his first win of 1980 and adding to that point lead. Dale Earnhardt, a very talented young man indeed, to win the Rookie of the Year last year and to come in and start this season with such tremendous success is impressive. It must confirm all the fears that the established drivers had last year when they saw him, because at that time they thought this one is going to be a good one. And the checkered flag for the 28-year-old Earnhardt out of Canapolis. North Carolina winning the Atlanta 500. Rusty Wallace, a big star on the USAC Star Car Trail, makes his NASCAR debut by finishing second. The most impressive showing. And the veteran from Ueytown, Alabama, in car number 15, Bobby Allison, winding up third. You know what it is, Darrell? Yeah, it's smoking. Well, an obviously an uh, upset driver, but he doesn't know what the problem is. Sitting there fuming and waiting for things to get better. 